What's up everyone, this is Sansac91, back once again for some more Let's Play Mega Man 64. In the last part we took care we took care of the tutorial level. My tongue is getting tied already. Yeah. And now we have to explore this island in order to find civilization. Let's do it. Oh what a handy little sign. There's the town. No, I'm not going to be talking for Mega Man, because that's just going to get really repetitive. Let's just go and meet the police. Ah, Mega Man! The police saw us crash land and came to check up on us. Well, you certainly put on quite a show. But it looks like everyone's all right. Let me welcome you to Catalogs Island. Now... I'd like to ask one of you to come with me to the station. We need you to fill out some immigration forms so you can get your registration and ID card. You can't enter the city without one. Don't worry. It won't take very long. While you're waiting, you can spend your time in the shopping arcade next to the city. You don't need an ID card to get in there. <laughs> Are you ready to go, Professor? So in order to get into the main heart of the city, we need Beryl to sign some goddamn paperwork and uh, get us in. So until then... We can only go into one place, and that's the marketplace, which you can easily get in without any sort of registration. And what do we have here? No, it's not. Don't know how it's still flying if it's, you know, part. Hello. And get in there and get out of there. Jeez. Miss Tron. How long have you guys been waiting? Like an hour? That can't be good. And for the most part, the townspeople don't have a lot of important crap to say. Oh, also, check every single trash can and box bin you can find. They have some awesome stuff in there. Most of the time it's money. But other times they're going to be parts. And with those parts, you can do something really special, but not until a little bit later. Broken cleaner. And you have to... have to use the uh, ex investigation thing for the boxes. For the garbage pails, for the trash cans, you can just check, check them with a nice kick. And inside the town, your buster is not usable. Instead, it gets replaced with your left foot. With the left C controls your right foot. Now, here's a handy little tip for you guys looking to get some early money. What you gotta do is kick this can into the bakery. It sounds a lot simpler than it is. Trust me, it's not. See? And it has to land down in there. And you're rewarded with a thousand zenny. Now, every time you exit and enter, that can respawns. So you can keep on doing it over and over again until you get the amount of money that you need or desire. Handy little tip. But doing it that getting money that way takes a long ass time. Anyway, this is where you're supposed to go next, and we're supposed to talk with this woman, the drunk shop lady. underground looking for all machine parts. Of course I will. I am Mega Man, damn it. Believe it or not, that is his actual name. It's not Rock or anything like that. His name is Mega Man. And he actually has a last name. Volnut. Strange name, but so is Mega Man. 
in all the other games it's either axe or rock or or in the case of the PSP game the, the Mega Man powered up it was actually rock I believe or mega no need to worry about those reaper bots they don't cause much trouble if you don't stay or stand around like an idiot also, there's going to be holes in these uh, underground places. Be sure to check them, because they have money and parts as well. These reaver bots are no big deal. Again, you don't get stuck in the explosion if you don't want to get hurt. And all they can do really is just shoot bombs. This is just an introduction to the whole thing about digging, even though there's no real digging involved. They're more like underground explorers. Apparently this guy has the Indiana Jones symptoms too, because he's afraid of snakes. How you doing? You chicken shit. What are you doing up down here without a weapon, for one thing? You know there's robots down here. Actually, it's not... he's not that fast. Maybe for his age, but that's not what I would call fast. Now, let's go exploring down here for a little bit longer. Maybe we'll find something we want, maybe not. Uh, the later dungeons in the game are definitely more fast and expansive, so you might get lost. Also, up C is your map, and I believe that right C is the lock-on. Not sure. Whoa, fireball in my face. Jackass. This is one of the early on, one of the stronger enemies that you'll face, one of the walkers. Yeah, I'm not going to get any of their real names down. That's guaranteed. And these guys can cause you some some pain if you don't... If you don't do your stuff right. So you got to know how to pick your battles in this game. Right now, with my amount of health, it's not really worth it. Plus, I don't have that strong of a buster yet. Maybe after the next segment... Maybe not. Who knows? I love keeping things a mystery from people. Or maybe it's just my own incompetence. Yeah, probably that. Anyway, let's go back to the junk shop lady who will help us out first. Give me a charge. Thank you. Thank you, Data. You dance and food. In a lot of ways, he reminds me of Gurr, mainly just the fact that he is, duh, a robot, and that he dances. He dances like a monkey. So let's get that extra thousand zenny and move on. Again, just keep on doing it and doing it. There is no, there's no repercussions from it at all. Save your husband. Where is my prize? Uh, mine parts kit. See the old beat up car outside? This be our support car. You gotta fix it up. Of course, they never do, not in the beginning. But they do have buster parts. Uh, am I Mega Man or Hippopotamus? Ah, uh, I'm Mega Man. Not hippopotamus. So ent exit and enter again, and you'll be able to buy a few more Buster parts. Or not? I guess not. After a sequence starts. So let's go back to roll and see what she's up to. No need to kick the can again. Yo, roll. Mega Man, were you able to find anything? Oh. If you can't find any parts in town, I guess we'll have to try digging for them ourselves. 
That's what the man at the junk store said. That might take a while. Which means... Huh? Mega Man, what's that? It looks like a weapons upgrade module. Oh, this? Yeah, the junk store man gave it to me. He said we could use this car to hook it up. You mean we can use this car? Well, come on then. Let's get it attached right away. There, it's ready. This weapon lets you use landmines. Just drop them in front of an oncoming enemy and boom! Just remember, there's a limited number of mines, so make sure you use them sparingly. Do you want me to explain what this weapon does again? I'll get to work on fixing this car up. I'll be able to help you out and maybe spot for you if I can get it running again. And this will be your, pretty much your central hub. This is where you're going to be able to talk with Roll, exchange your special weapons, develop items, and actually move the car itself. And also, Data will stash himself in here. Ah, there you are. I've been looking for you so I could give you this. Your citizen's card. Now you'll be able to use the city gate. Of course, there are some gates that can't be opened, but... Why that? Pirates. We've received information that indicates there are some headed this way. So as a precaution, we're evacuating the civilians and locking the gates. Pirates? Um, our grandfather is still inside the city. Will he be all right? Well, I'm sure he's heard the announcements about the pirates. If I see him, I'll make sure he gets to a safe place. If you'll excuse me. I'm worried about Gramps. I hope he'll be okay. I'll go look for him. You wait here. Okay, Mega Man. Be careful. And I'm going to be trying to insert as much uh, voice acting as much as I can. Not from me, thank Christ. Uh, from the actual voice actors in the game. Just so they can get as much credit as possible. Even though one thing I have to say about this game that really bugs me is that there is no subtitles. I mean, come on, you can barely hear anything that they're talking about. Anywho, enough bitching. Here is where you can finally buy your items, and I just bought one called the Canteen, which will give you more life, but you have to refill it afterwards. It's like, uh, it's like a limited potion. And here is where you can buy your parts. Definitely going to get more attack, and get some more energy. And we're going to get some more life while we're at it. Just go out, go all out, and buy whatever you wish. I'm definitely going to be spending a lot of money over over this game's time. Uh, the shield repair, I never get it since there's not really a hell of a lot of point to it. So it can easily be ignored. But these are pretty much what you want to get each time. More life and an extra point to your canteen. Which will pretty much it'll allow you to heal more and hold more HP that you can heal for yourself. And, for a small charge, whenever it's emptied, you can have it refilled. But only with these guys. And I might as well just buy the rest of these. I mean, they're not that expensive. There. I still got a thousand left. If I want to, could just go back and start kicking that can all over again. Okay, now I can explain the menu for... Finally. Uh, normal items are the items you pick up over the course of the game, including special items which will then be deposited in here. Here's our blue reflector that we got in the beginning, our citizen's card that we just got, as well as our canteen. And over the course of the game, you'll find more of these that will get added, such as special keys, uh, upgrades, and equipable items. Uh, buster parts you already know about, so let's just uh, fix that up. I tend to like attack and energy so I can shoot more and 
basically be more powerful. Uh, one bad thing about the game, not enough rapid upgrades. Very naughty. Don't know why I said that. Anyway, special items are basically used with the left C button. Splash Mine is not that good of a special weapon, and that's why they give it to you in the beginning. And basically it gives you a, a certain amount of mines, and you can lay them down, and if an enemy rolls over them, they get damaged. Basic stuff. Now, if you want to get through here... Thanks for interrupting me, jackass. They're not going to let you pass unless you... Unless you... Shut up, game. Basically, what you have to do is walk towards them. And this is, without a doubt, the only appearance, or the only use, of walking in the game. This is it. Other than that, it should not be in the game at all. And these guys just just speak a lot of bullshit. Nothing tells me that they're druggies. I mean, it's, it's worn right on their faces. Especially the biggie. And then they start to scatter. That's right, get the hell out of the way. Okay, got it? Once the decision's made, there's no turning back. Nothing less than 100%. And remember, it's more than just guns and ships. It's whoever has the most information that wins, right? Right, we understand. You need to keep your costs and risks as low as possible, and stay on schedule. That's right. You've got it. Huh? What are you looking at? Huh. Okay, for you buffs of uh, Marvel vs. Capcom, you would know that that character is Tron Bon. Pretty much the breakout character of this game. And one that would later go on to star in those games. Here, she's, uh, kind of nuts. <laughs> to say the absolute least. And those little yellow guys who look like Legos, those are her serve bots. Pretty much just her little robot slaves. I don't know why they're called serve bots when they're called slave bots. <laughs> I guess they want to be completely correct. Whatever. Uh, basically what I'm going to do is check all the garbage pails in this area, just make sure I'm not missing anything. Again, you can always check with a kick. Uh, for these buildings, you can't go into most of them, so they're rather kind of pointless. I believe the only one you can get into right now is the library. And some of the gates you obviously can't go into because of the whole pirate situation. So that's out. And around here there are soda machines that if you deposit some money you'll get a soda and that will heal you up. But if you kick it the right way, you can actually get a free one. Or blow it up. And if you kick it again when it's damaged, it will blow up. But one kick will just damage it. All right, let's go see Barrel. Make this a bit longer than the last part. Here is basically City Hall. There's the bank, there's the police station, and there's the and there's the main City Hall building, and that's where Barrel is. Now the bank has no real significance in this. And the police station will come into terms later. And I just remembered this is the second time where you have to use walking. My god, you take forever. Hey, Mega Man! Come to check up on me, eh? Here, let me introduce you to the mayor of this island. 
Amelia. I'm Amelia. Nice to meet you. I'm an old friend of Professor Barrow. I worked as his assistant for a while, while I was in school. <laughs> it's a small world, isn't it? To tell you the truth, we've gotten reports that there are some pirates headed this way. I was asking the professor if he might have any idea what they're after. I'll bet anything they're after the legendary treasure supposedly buried on this island. There are a lot of stories about the treasure, but no one knows exactly what it is. I thought maybe you might know something about it, Professor. I've been in the digging business a long time, but I haven't been able to find out anything about this island's treasure except legends and myths. Look, Mega Man, I'll be here for a while talking with Amelia. So why don't you go back and keep an eye on Roll? Tell her not to worry about me, okay? Alrighty then. You're just gonna be talking with her. Sick bastard. There's not gonna be any talking up there. I can guarantee it. Ah! It's a dog! <laughs> Ugly wants to rip it off your head. Uh, let's uh, let's go see if we can stop this. As God knows, no one else is going to. Yeah, in this game, pretty much everyone relies on Mega Man for everything. It's kind of sad, really. What are you staring at? I'm not a circus clown or something. Go on, get out of here. You can't treat girls that way. Hey, hold on. Down, boy. Down. Are you all right? Talk with Roll. Tell her not to worry about Beryl. Oh my. Everyone is gone. Except for like one guy. He'll be okay. By the way, did you see those weird looking ships that just flew past here? I've never seen ones like that before. I wonder whose they are. There, there goes one. God, Gramps is gonna kill me. You stupid bitch, stop running! No, I don't think you can actually beat her to the door, unfortunately. 
Alright, I think this is where I'm gonna call it a day. So, recharge, and next time, and let's play Mega Man 64, we'll go see what's heading, going on inside the city, and who is attacking it. See you guys then.